Hey guys, Magnus Robber here bringing you another video. This one we're going to be ranking the NPCs from 2018. So the reason that I'm ranking them and not doing a top 5 list is because I try to do a top 5 list and it's incredibly hard because I have to separate them. And I don't really like to, when there's like a bundle, I don't really like to separate them. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be ranking them as their bundles. So instead of ranking them individually, I'm just going to be ranking them uh, as their bundles because I think that's the fairest thing to do. I think that's just going to be the easiest um, way to do it, really. So yeah, I'm going to be ranking them uh, in their bundles. So you guys voted the best one. I think it was it the crook uh, or was it the just no the justice agent. The justice agent was voted the best and the crook was versus, voted the worst, which is really weird, but whatever. Uh, but I'm going to be um, ranking the um, from bundles. So there's no honourable mention or anything like that. We're just going to start with the first one. So the first one is the Itchy and Scratchy Land Bundle. Uh, better well known as the Park Visitor Bundle. So this cost 50 donuts. Um, it included free... Uh, NPCs in the bundle and this was the tour group straggler which is this kind of older guy we have the little thrill seekers this girl with the itchy balloon and then the gift shop fanatic this kid with the uh, this uh, chubby kid with the axe well it's not that chubby but you know what I mean um, <laughs> so uh, yeah um, free characters now the reason I put this as the worst one out of all of them is I don't think we needed these like I don't think uh, they really needed to have uh, some more NPCs when we've already got loads that walk around Krusty Land. I think they could have probably utilized the ones that we've already got from Krusty Land. Uh, so you have to place the, you know, the, the, the tiles so we get them so they spawn in and just use them. I really feel they could have used them in the Itching Scratchy Land update. It's one of my negatives that I don't really talk about too much because I don't, like, I know a lot of people, uh, <coughs> Apperson, uh, or Apperson, um, <laughs> um, doesn't like the whole tapping things and i understand that they do get a bit redundant they get a little repetitive i kind of like it like i wish that they were there but they didn't like have any purpose like i i want them to be there like i want to have these little npcs that walk around but it would be cool if they just walked around for the event and they had no actual purpose they just walked around for the event that's all they did that i'd be fine with that and i think i think i feel like apperson would be okay with that as well and then we just get them as npcs after and the takedown um i feel like these we just didn't need these guys whatsoever we already had the crusty land ones and i think they could have just used them but they didn't they had to add they added these three others and i just they, yeah i just didn't really like them they, i just didn't think they were needed so i mean they're not too bad overall but i just again like i said don't think they were necessary but anyway let's move on to the second worst one and that is the bart royale npc bundle so yeah this included of course uh bootsy sludge and mumbles and the thing is called the uh, ruffian bundle ruffian bundle so yeah i okay these aren't too bad i quite like the woman i think she's quite cool so we got bootsy the the female one uh we got sludge who is the guy with the cigarette or cigar or whatever uh and then we've got mumbles which is the uh guy with the ginger mohawk um so i feel like bootsy she looks pretty cool sludge meh i mean he's okay and mumbles i just think he's <laughs> just ugly um i'll be honest i just think he's ugly uh but yeah i just again this just comes down to really looks i just don't think they looked as cool uh, as cool as they could have um yeah i wasn't a massive fan of these npcs anyway I, I just think they look a little bit ugly in my opinion but what are you gonna do they cost 50 donuts which is the normal price the price of the other ones but i just feel like comparing them to the other ones that we got in 2018 there isn't i just feel like i prefer some of the others um so yeah i i, I don't didn't really like these as much so they go there um, not really much more to say they are just npcs after all anyway the third worst uh or as you would like to say number five or the five the fifth best if you will uh is the crook and justice agent bundle so yeah, the Crook and Justice Agent. So this was literally just called the uh, Foreign Cops and Robbers Bundle. Now the reason that I would have put this a little bit higher, because I really like the Justice Agent, and I think the Crook is okay. Like he's a very stereotypical truck, uh, Crook, but I think he's kind of amusing just having him. But I really like the Justice Agent. I like having like a foreign cop in the game and it's just another, an NPC cop. And I wish they would add like a few of the other NPC cops that we've, like, no, sorry, a few of the background cops that we've seen in The Simpsons. I would actually like to have them as NPCs i think that would be pretty cool just have a few you know cops walking around so i really like the foreign cop and the robber is okay the reason that i don't put this any higher though is it's 50 donuts it's the same price but we're only getting two npcs we're not getting three and i think it, 50 donuts is pretty expensive for npcs anyway so 
Yeah, it's more just the fact that we don't get as many. We only got two. Uh, that's the reason I've put it uh, this this low. Uh, but I do really like the Justice Agent. I think he is pretty cool. And I like, yeah, so I, I like the fact that we have a cop walking around. But there you go. That's them. Um, so the next one, the fourth best, if you will, is the Halloween bundle. Uh, again, better well known as the Monster Minion Bundle. So this came with, of course, free. We got Cloaky, we got Shuffles, and we got Wary Wolf. So, yeah, I quite like Cloaky. I think he looks pretty awesome. Uh, we got Shuffles. I think Shuffles looks a little silly. I am a little annoyed that we got so much Egyptian stuff. I swear, like, Egypt is, is the one place that we have so much stuff from. Um... But he's okay, Shuffles. Uh, and Wary Wolf is... I think he's pretty adorable, Wary Wolf. So I give it to him. I quite like this one. Um, I was actually quite happy with this NPC bundle, to be honest with you. Uh, I feel like the the ones, the three above it, are just a little bit better. So I, I've given them the uh, the benefit of the doubt. I've given them the, the better... They've got the better one. But um, yeah, I quite like the Halloween bundle. I think this one looks pretty cool. Uh, I feel like the three NPCs in it are okay. Shuffles is probably my least favourite out of the three. But what are you going to do? I think overall they are pretty awesome and they they fitted quite well into the the whole idea that you know we got a vampire a minion we got a shuffles for the mummies and then we also got a wary wolf for the werewolf so it fitted in quite well and then number three is the parade roller bundle so i've put this one lower than the other bundle so of course they split off the other one so this one included the uh, parade roller the animatronic axe and the animatronic uh, dynamite uh, so yeah it was hard to split up the two different bundles because of course they essentially are the same thing but I like the bomb cool I think the bomb looks a bit cooler so I gave I gave the uh, the axe the boot so this is number three uh, of course we got so basically we have a little station for it and then you set it off so they're actually npcs that earn cash which i think is really really awesome uh they were actually an act two prize they were the, so they were free as well so the axe and the uh di the dynamite are pretty cool i i really like these i feel like they could have um I, I was a bit annoyed that they gave us the itchy and scratchy uh thing for black friday last year uh the npc that we got uh, because it kind of feel like they could have been added to this too. But I think overall, the Parade Roller Bundle was pretty cool. And of course, the uh, next one on the list is the Parade trade bund uh, Train Bundle even. Again, another Act uh, 2 prize. So yeah, this one included the Bomb, the uh, Parade Train, the, anim sorry, the uh, Animatronic Bomb, the Parade Train, and the Animatronic Dynamite Bundle. I just think this one looks a tiny bit cooler than the other one, so that's the only reason I'm, I'm giving it that. It's mainly uh, looks. Of course, this one does also earn you cash, as well as the other little, and of course it has another little station that you can connect to the road. Uh, really, really awesome. I think this idea was so good. It was so refreshing to see this in the game, something new like this. Um, yeah, and I, I really like this. I think it worked really well. I do think it's a little awkward because it's hard to decorate with the um, the stations because the stations need to be in Itchy and Scratchy Land, right? Because that was that's where they start, or at least that's what I would have thought. So what I had to do is like sort of put a fence around those stations, so it looks a bit annoying. So I feel like they are a little hard to decorate as well. That's my only issue because I feel like they they do belong in Itchy and Scratchy Land. So, but you have to fence it off, right? So, um, yeah. But, anyway, we have the next one. Uh, we have a number one. Um, there is actually one that came above them. And, and so can we have that drum roll. Uh, it goes to the Moe's Ark NPC bundle. So this one costs 60 donuts, so it's 10 more donuts more expensive, and I'm, I, I'll am i be honest, I feel like I'm being a little bit biased here, because I really love all four of them, I think they all look cool, and it, again, this comes down to looks, not practicality, now, I can understand why people will put the parade roller and the parade train above these guys, because I, I get that if you do, that's completely fine, um, but this is just my opinion, I just really was happy with this bundle, so we actually got four NPCs, which I thought was really really cool now usually they don't the invasion toads with the things that you put in other your friends towns usually they don't give us those npcs and it's, it annoys me when they don't because they've already invented them they've already created their textures they've already created them moving around so they may as well just give us them like they may as well just give us us to like give us them uh so of course we got the big zoo fan um who is this i don't know if i'd say he's, is he is he I, I don't want to be racist. Is he Chinese or is he Asian? I'm not even too sure, but um, 
Uh, but he looks really cool. He's just paleish guy anyway. Uh, we have the big uh, Lil Zoo fan as well uh, with the lion, which is pretty cool. We have the animal rights hipster. I think he looks pretty awesome too. And my favorite, my favorite NPC out of all of them is the Invasion Toads. I really think these guys are cool. They just look awesome, and I think they fitted in really well into the uh, uh, zoo event. I, I I think I was really happy that they did the old Invasion Toad storyline. Now they didn't give us Bart Junior as such. But they did the whole toad thing, which I thought was really cool. And I really liked the Invasion Toads. Um, I was just really happy with them because I've wanted them in the game for a while. Um, or at least something similar to them, anyway. So I was really happy with them. I, I know this is just me wanting something in the game. And it, and it kind of, they they, they, they gave, gave me fan service. So I'm, I'm giving it the number one spot for filling my fan service. Which is a little hypocritical, I know. So uh, I do apologize. If you want to say that this is number three in your head, then yeah, sure. But it's number one for me. So the Animorphs Hipster, I think he looks pretty awesome the big zoo fan looks really really cool and um yeah and the little zoo fan 2 is really awesome so yeah four npcs i thought this bundle was just uh, way cooler and yeah it's my opinion <laughs> deal with it <laughs> uh so yeah uh and you know at the end of the day npcs really don't mean anything they really really don't um they're really pointless anyway so well they're not pointless they just there are essentially just decorations like advanced decorations but yeah, that's it for my list. That's pretty much all I have to say. Uh, yeah, tell me what yours are. Maybe give me your top three or your top five. That would be kind of cool to see. And uh, yeah, so I decided to rank them, which is a, a bit weird, but there you go. But anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please tell me your thoughts, uh, like I said. And uh, yeah, if you haven't already, please definitely go comment on my Q&A announcement video. Uh, if it's past, if this week's over, if this video is over a week old, uh, that video is probably gone now. But uh, if it's still on the channel, please go leave me a question. So yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next one. Goodbye.